So in the last episode we created a login page for our users. Today we're going to be creating the functionality to display a user's tasks. So to do this we're obviously going to need to log in. Then we're going to switch over to our code. The first thing that we need to do is go to our roots file because we want to make sure that a user is logged in before we display his or her tasks. So to do this, we're going to use the auth filter. If we go to our filters file and find auth, we can see that if the user is a guest, return a redirect to the login page. So now we've done that, we're going to create a model. We're going to call this item. So class item extends eloquent, which is Laravel's ORM. And that's all we need to do. Laravel will automatically add all the database methods like all or where. The next thing we need to do is go to our user model and we're going to add a method to return all the items for this user. Now each item is going to be an instance of this model here. So we're going to create a new function here, public function items. And we're going to use Laravel's relationships. So return this has many item which is the name of this model. Second parameter is the name of the column containing the user ID which for us if we go back to our database we can see is owner ID. Now this is an optional parameter. Laravel is very clever. If we left this blank it would it would assume that the name of the column is this here, the name of the model appended with underscore ID and it would probably convert this to lowercase as well. So if we rename this here to user ID, which we're not going to do, we wouldn't need to pass in this second parameter here. We only need this because we're calling it something else. So we can close this now. We're going to go to our controller next, home controller. Now we're going to grab all the current logged in users items and store them in an array. So the first thing we need to do is get the instance of this user class here for the current user. So to do this we say auth user and then we're just going to call this here. So auth user items and we're going to store this in an items array. Now the more observant of you will have noticed that I am actually accessing a property here instead of a method which we defined here. The reason we're doing this is we're using Laravel's eager loading. Eager loading essentially eliminates the n plus 1 problem. I'm not going to go into great detail, but if we had this method and we called it five times, we're going to execute this query here five times. But if we got rid of these and we replace this with a property and duplicate it five times, we're only going to call this query once because Laravel detects that we've already called this query. So it grabs the data that it received from the query the first time instead of executing the same thing more than once, which is unnecessary. So now we just need to pass this to the, to the view. So we do that by passing a second parameter in here. There's actually multiple ways you can do this. You could say with items, items, or you could say with items, items, or you could say compact, compact items, but I just prefer to pass an array just to make things a little bit more clear and readable. So items equal, oops, this needs to be items equals items. So we can close this and we can open up our view. Oops. And we're going to delete this. We're going to add a header tag here, your items. Perfect. Now I actually added my own styling. As you can see, I changed a few things here and I added my own. So feel free to copy this. I'll just scroll through slowly. Obviously, you're 100% welcome to create your own, but this is what I use at the minute. So back to our view, we're going to loop through the items that we passed to the view. So items as item and for each. And just to check that everything is working, we're going to echo item name and a line break. So we should get a list of items when we, nope, okay. 
So everything's fine here. Oops. Everything's fine here, and no controller. Yep, everything looks fine. So it must be in here somewhere. Okay, this is our issue. We're trying to find all items for this user with the ID of two. But in our items table, we only have use, we only have items for the user ID one. So we need to change these to two. If we go back to our browser and refresh, there we go, perfect. So let's close these up. We're going to encase this in a unordered list, like so. And we're going to encase each item in a Lee. Now we're actually going to want to add a checkbox for each of these. And when the user clicks the checkbox, it will mark the task as done, or in some cases, undone. So we're going to say, form open, form close, and we're only going to have one input field here. Input type equals checkbox, the name will be item, and the value will be the ID of the item, so item ID. And then next to that we just want to display the item name. And we also need to display this in line. So let's go back to our style sheet, form input type equals checkbox display in line perfect so the next thing we want to do is if we go back to our database here we'll see that we have one done item walk the dogs but in our browser here it's showing the user that it's undone because the checkbox isn't checked so we need to add a conditional statement in here to say that if the task is complete then mark this then make the default value for this checkbox checked. We're just going to create a ternary statement. So we're going to, by the way, if you don't already know, this basically just echoes out whatever we put in here. So if we say, hello, it's going to say, hello. If we go into our source code, there we go. So we're going to say, if, item done then echo checked otherwise echo nothing so let's just check that this works perfect our walk the dogs item is checked 